Hey guys, Ricky here. Welcome back to the John Deere Garage. So, I got the 318 out this morning. I figured I'd take you guys for a little ride today. Uh, she was cold this morning, but she wasn't too bad. It did fire right up with the choke out. So, hopefully, it'll last me a lot more years. It should, anyway, since I've got about six grand in this tractor. Including what I've paid for it. I paid three for it. And the engine was 26, so that's about five-ish, actually. With all the parts, maybe mm, another 500 bucks or something. I have added a lot to it, as in the, you saw in the last video, or if you're new to the channel. I added an air filter cover. I gave it a nice new wing nut. It's not just any wing nut. It's a locking wing nut, so it's got that plastic washer inside so it doesn't vibrate loose i put some new battery terminals on it i gave it a new battery changed the hydraulic fluid in the transmission i changed the transmission filter i did also put a new hour meter in it just like hit one hour next is a new pto switch i put that spinning knob on the steering wheel that thing's pretty handy i like it i am gonna be getting a new dash panel because there's a hole right there at the edge of my finger i don't want to poke it and make it any worse that's bugging me i want my john deere to be perfect so i'm gonna be getting that and i did fix it so the side panel doesn't rest on the exhaust anymore that's what that little indent was from I changed a headlight bulb, and I changed a taillight bulb. And I did give it a new fuel cap, too, because the one that was on it, this was all broken off, and it was spurting fuel everywhere. So. And I uh, fixed this lever. It was very stiff. It was just dirty down at the linkage down there. So whenever you'd push it, backwards you'd have to manually push it back and now it'll just spring back on its own which is what it should do same with forward float still works on it this one still works i just tested it the other day so i hooked up the linkage right anyway let's give you guys what you've been waiting for let's give you a ride on the old john deere now hopefully no more of my neighbors come flying around the corner I've had to redo this video about five times due to that. So, start up. Hopefully I won't need to choke it. Stupid neutral safety switch.
thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel just got to my grandparents and they live right up the street from me and you can see how much snow we got last night so hopefully the john deer won't get stuck it shouldn't it is having some issue that i can't seem to fix whenever i get to a hill i'll be going like half speed and then as soon as i start going up the hill it'll like kind of slow down and i am running the correct fluid in it i'm running low viscosity high guard john deere fluid in the transmission what i was thinking is it might be the shock damper right in there for this lever is wearing out and sticking a little bit could be wrong but if you seem to have an idea on what it could be please let me know in the comments and then i'll try that and if it don't work i just have to deal with it i guess unless they're made to do that i'm not sure so subscribe to the channel john deer garage try to get 30 subscribers by spring wouldn't mind getting a hundred thousand so i can <coughs> get a youtube play button i've always wanted one of those so yeah subscribe to the channel